Hello everybody and welcome back to Getting Wrecked and Transport Fever. So here we are in, well, middle of Sweden and we're watching a poor old trade. Well, it's not old, it's pretty new. Seven months. Bringing stone to Stockholm. Where we use a ship to bring stones. Nope. Anyone bringing stones? Nope, not yet. But we are going to bring the stones up to Vasa, turn it into bricks and bring it back to Stockholm. So since we're using this factory mod, I've received some comments about this that you can actually produce minerals and limestone, the things you need for cement. So we have requirements, two limestone, one mineral will make two cement. So you are supposed to increase the production of the quarry and uh, I guess the coal mine to about like 800 or something and then they will start to produce uh, minerals and limestone. So that's a pretty good mission if you're going to try to make everything for Stockholm we will need to make uh, cement as well now the issue is that Stockholm doesn't require more than 800 bricks nor does it really require that many machines so or yeah machines I guess we could make goods as well for steel but anyways, we need to make sure that we increase the production of bricks and uh, tools and machines so we use enough steel and stones to make sure that we can produce limestone and minerals. So it's a pretty good mission. So we need to connect more cities in order to have enough demand for that to happen. One way to start would be to. Mm, we already set up these stone guys. We could check with uh, the coal. So there's some coal waiting. Not close to 800. So I think what we will do is that we will tell these guys. To get good, so replace you with the Opa Blitz. We will also add a couple more. Just to make sure that we bring as much iron ore as possible. So, like that. Because we are not even using uh, the full capacity of these trains just yet. Or maybe we do? Nah. I don't think so. Nope, not, not quite. It's almost half empty. So we get more iron ore and more coal. Alright. Do we have any more bottlenecks? Let's go up and check the steel mill up here. They need more iron ore, but it's there are some some stuff waiting here. So let's see what we can find. So we got Storuman, Volvaniemi, Steel. We have a frequency, so we have at least once a year. So I don't really want to expand too much on this train capacity of 64 well that's not very impressive fine let's let's replace this flying scotsman two of those and some stay cars 
let's go 300 replace now sure that's the last money I have so I think we should actually try to speed things up a little bit here we have been stuck in like 1930s forever so what I want to do today is well increasing production but I'm also thinking about adding more uh, trains here not to our passenger line so let's see now if we're going to connect uh, Haparanda with Vasa and then with Helsinki I would kind of want to go on the left hand side here so we have to decide if we want to just go across like no biggie or do we want to go over or under that's it's an excellent question what is this hmm yeah Can you fit two of these under here? Okay, we can. Ninety-six. One hundred and eight. Too much curvature though, though, so I don't know. I have a feeling that even if I can fit one of these, I will have a hard time fitting the next one and sure we could go super wide actually what happens if we put these in place already uh, 75 too much curvature Okay, that works. 113. That's not too bad. I mean, I don't like this setup. But it could have been worse. It's not that much traffic that would go into Haparanda anyways, so... I feel a bit evil putting this signal here, so maybe a train will <laughs> block the road. But that's why they should take the train and not be driving around with, with cars. Should break off pretty soon. Let's see. That's the smallest city I have ever seen right um, do you want to go close to the sea or do you want I guess if you go close to the sea we might be able to fit one of these one of these uh, Good old uh, porch as well. Maybe. Let's see if we can make that happen. I feel like it's a bit too high up. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Too much slopes. One terminal maybe makes it easier. It's really complaining about some of my old road vehicles. Okay. 
Do I even have this to the right direction I have? Yeah, maybe I put a uh, station a bit too close to the water. Let's complain about every single vehicle! Alright, fine. Screw you. It wasn't that great of an idea to start with, so... I don't know if they have trams in any of the Finland cities, but so we will go with buses. Sometimes you would like it to be a double tracked tool you could use to just make it double tracked from the get go. Get up to 160. Kind of missing, missing our stop, but something like that. Make it flat, 120. I guess we should turn more in the beginning, since speed doesn't really matter too much in the beginning here. Close the station. Construction is impossible! How are we going to do this? A level crossing! No one has have heard of anything like that. Okay, come on. Thank you, thank you. I wonder what kind of warning we have going. Cotton? No. Some kind of sick joke. Now this was how I wanted my playthrough to be. I would like to have four tracks like this going through Sweden. Did that happen? No. But that's that's the name of this game. That really. Too much slope. Well, too much slope is the name of the game as well, but I was mostly about thinking about um, the name of the game is that you usually have grand plans in the beginning of the game, but you don't have the money, and later on you have so much money that you don't really need to have any great planning, you can just build anything you want anyways. Now this will most likely not make me any money. But it will make uh, Vasa gr grow at least. Make my monsters grow! All right. So, mm, we could go wide or we could go narrow. Uh, I think I would give up the idea to have a station down by down by the river, Baltic Sea, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that's not going to happen. We could maybe place it down here. It's in the industrial area though. Maybe like this. Yeah, sure. I mean, I will never use four tracks in freaking Finland. Let's do it like that. Okay, 
You can't go under, you can't go over. Well, that's just freaking great. Mm. Who would have thunk? Well, I'm not going to just cross that. Too much slope. How can it be too much slope? Isn't this like perfectly flat? Alright, let's try this again. Flat, please. Right. So, going a bit wider, maybe we could make this go under. Maybe we could make it go over, under, under is 9 million, or 900,000, above is 500. It's more fun to see the trains, isn't it? I can go under this train track, I guess. Maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. Or oh, actually check the curvature. Five hundred. Yeah, it seems to be cheaper to make bridges. I guess that's realistic, that it's cheaper with bridges than tunnels. Right. Tell it to be super flat. Chemical plant. We are always whining. is not possible and I'm using the wrong track. We actually don't need this road. We rarely need any roads at all because we usually use trains. But Some signals. here. Some more signals. Depending on how far this route will be, we might need more than just one train. So. Nedve Kvarnbergsgatan. And then you go in there and out again. Or man, you must be super old. Yeah. Twin coach. I have been complaining about uh, how can this larger bus only take 11 while this smaller one brings 13. Let's go for this one. Looks like a Finnish coach. Hideous color. Boom! I wonder who planted this tree. I'm guessing he is not working any longer in the park office. Let's see. Some over there, and some over here, and some over here. And then we just 
just need to connect some, some fancy roads and we should be good to go. 200k, no thank you. That's better. Let's get these finished flashes again. Sweet. So... <laughs> Vasa passengers. I have seen a better income than this. Makes me a bit worried. Makes me a bit worried indeed. I don't know, I think we have buses up here already. Might not have enough buses, but we do have buses. We are still in Finland, so go for this twin coach kind of deal. And we will, if we find a depot, we will get, let's get two more. Well, we're actually in Sweden now, Sweden now but all right. You can always just recolor these. Some other hideous color, if I find the correct button to do it. Make them yellow. Alright, so. How... I don't really think we have a depot for this. Because I removed the depot we had down here. We might need a new one. We can add it here in the corner. Uh, something like that. Will it fit? Yeah. Niamas problemas. Since we are having some difficulty with our income here, we are going to buy a couple of hideous things and set them on a new line. Go some Haparanda. To Vasa, to Helsinki, to Vasa, and then back again. And we seem to be needing some of these. Uh, so Vasa, and then you go out on that side, Helsinki, and then you come back on this side and get into Vasa. Right. So this is Haparanda to Helsinki, intercity. It's kind of inter-country since it's going between Sweden and uh, Finland. Oh yeah, driving on the wrong side of the track, like we don't give a damn. <laughs> That's... Great! Yes! This guy's waiting because of that. Was oh, so it because of you? Just that freaking Finnish <laughs> train. Alright. Could actually, well, they are using another platform, so it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so let's take a look how this is going. 
Do we need more demand for these thi these things? think so. Well, <laughs> oh, they just want more logs. Why are we not getting more logs? We have like a super long trains here and super expensive. They are what actually messes with my income here. They're not even half full. Well, it's actually half full, but you know. Hmm. I wonder if. I mean, it says it will build either planks or wood powder. to ship more planks okay well you are shipping planks to this factory high production we will upgrade soon okay so maybe that's what we're waiting for but they kind of need the planks if they want to upgrade don't you freaking slow down like that holy moly Seventy four. Mm. Please upgrade. Have some logs on planks. Now that we need more steam. Well, let's head over here. You're not even close to getting back. <laughs> made it three times as long and they are still delivering just as much steel all right well let's find the freaking coal train which is kind of you might might be an idea to upgrade that Yeah. Big boy. Maybe this is a work for a, a job for the big boy. Uh, okay, fine. 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 Let's go big or go home. So let's get the big boy. 130. 11 freaking million. Alright. Uh, get some gondolas. Make it 3 and 20. Forty million. Goodbye. Goodbye, sweet prince. But I hope that will help us. And since we are going to wrap this up pretty soon, let's take a look at our oldest guys here. Sock on to John Shopping. Is that true? Yeah, I, I don't go down to Malma because I want them to fly. That's true. Okay. We don't have electricity. And upgrading electricity will cost us a fortune. Uh, Alright, mm. 
fine. Let's try to find a replacement. We don't have that many diesels. It's only this Alco. Let's pause the game here. Do we have... How fast passenger train cars do we have? 150, 180. The 180 is so expensive though. And the train or uh, the railroad is only able to bring, get up to 120 here. So... I feel like a real cheapskate if I just go for the Flying Scotsman again. So let's go the Millard. Because it costs just as much. And like I said, we can only make 120, so. And I don't. I'm not going to bother with upgrading the train tracks right now. So 20 each. Replace now. 10 million. Goodbye. Alright. Who is this? Just bringing like oil into into Stockholm. Right. Two guys down. Is this guy not filling up? Yes, it is. Okay, we just replaced uh, one with the Millard, so let's replace this one with the Millard as well. 120 again. Place now, yes. And then we have some road vehicles. Let's go with a sour sour this time around. The replace now function is pretty sweet. I have to say. What the something like that. Replace now. Thank you. Holy crap. It's because I used these um, American buses that only had 20 years of lives, lifetime, I think. Well, that will make things a little bit better. But I really need to upgrade these train tracks but like I said 2 million here this is gonna be like 4 million here 1 million okay that wasn't too bad but then we will also remove all the people waiting which is not perfect I think in one year we will get faster wagons for freight trains as well so that would be interesting. So now let's go with the stones here. Two bricks. It would be funny if you could see the bricks on the ship somewhere. See the stone at least. Here we have some bricks. Shipping them all over 
Baltic Sea. Upgrade in two months, I like that. Try to ship more stone. We are most likely going to try to connect Stockholm with some other major cities. We could go down to Gothenburg since we have this freight station in place already. Not that I know if we can fit a depot here. It should be fine. This is the reason why we are not making money, by the way. It's the freaking food the trains. It's the freaking food trains. So if we go up here. So I think I added one more grain train here. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it always takes such a long time for the industry to build up the production for this late game scenario. So, well, late game. <laughs> this is not late game by any stretch of imagination, but. Mm. How fast will you go here? Still 60. Hong Kong. Walking to work. Yeah, don't don't take any shortcuts. And let it take a couple of months to walk to work. We really need to find our big boy. Big boys. Anyways, uh, hopefully we will start to make money again. A little bit more here at least. Otherwise we will have to go on uh, damage control. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will see you again next time. Goodbye.